What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful channel. Guys, today we're watching another BTS interview from the Dex Sang show. Um, it is from 2018, the last one we've watched was from 2017 and we still have a 2019 one left. But to make them in order, we have to watch the 2018 one first. It is from the Billboard Music Awards and yeah, the 2019 one is also from the Billboard Music Awards. Awards. The last one was at the MNAs, so I'm excited for that. It is around the same length as the last one. Like, I wish, I wish BTS had like a half an hour interview like Blackpink had, but at least something with Zack and BTS. Okay, I'm excited, guys. Let's watch it. Let's do this. Zack Sang Show. Zack Sang Good to see you. What's up, dude? Hello, Hello, sir. Hi. Hey, yeah. What's up, yeah. dude? Yeah. Uh, Let's jump in because. Okay, first we have to comment on the outfits, guys, as always. Okay, okay, okay. Looking good. I like J Hope's style, as usual. Jimin looks good, too. Okay, okay. We have Jin. Okay, okay. They're looking good, yeah. Ooh, Jungkook, really, really basic. Really basic outfit for Jungkook. Okay. Sugar looks good. Oh, he looks a bit like. I don't know, like a skater in a way. Okay, V not impressed at all, as always, RM smiling. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Uh, love yourself, Tear. It's a beautiful body of work, man. Have you, have you listened? I listened yesterday while going through a ton of tweets from your fans, and inspired is the wrong way to put it. I mean, I, I, goosebumps, and I, I felt uplifted, and I felt confident, but I also felt true you know i i, I learned more about myself from understanding it and then looking at the lyric translation and really? getting to know all the records it's beautiful you know, it, really. you know that is why, why i like zach so much because he really puts work into it and he even read the translation for the korean parts in their songs damn i love zach so much how do you feel now that it's out there into the world and people can enjoy it <laughs> It's like we saw, you know, saw the reactions, and you know, I, I mean, like, the, including the videos, like we all saw the reactions yeah. and tweets, and um, I just, you know, like before it was released, I was kind of like worried. I was like half and half, like, you know, would a miracle come again for us? You know, but I really want to have that shirt, guys. Does any one of you know where to get this shirt? I want to have it. <laughs> sort of things like. Thoughts like that. Lightning but, doesn't strike twice all the time. You know, yeah. yeah. Like, so for more, you know, sort of things like that. But afraid, but. Relieved. It's gone and. Yeah. You know, They're relieved that it, it is out. Like, I feel so relieved and. Yeah. Okay, we've, we, we made this again and, you know. So the one thing I, I got to know is that you guys are really personally involved. I mean, you write, you're producing on this yes. album. Yes, sir. I, when you walk into the studio, are you coming clean slate? Do you come with the story that you're ready to tell? <laughs> How does it work? Um, like, you know, studio at the Chagopan Kwajang or So, you know, for uh, for me, um, I, 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 I came to the studio. I, like, I come to the studio and, like, someday, I, for a day, I, I do nothing for like 12 hours. Yeah. <laughs> I just look at the news and, you know, sometimes I'm shopping or sometimes I just. That is like the creative process. Like, you cannot force to be creative. Sometimes it comes and you flow with it, and sometimes it doesn't. Music and like, I, I turn the Cubase on. We use Cubase for the program, and like, I do nothing. I, I, yeah. I don't like push he has a to single, feel it. like keyboard up the, you know, uh -huh. the piano. But sometimes a magic happens like in like half an hour, you know, like it just pops out. So like, but you know, the, the 12 hours makes the 30 minutes magic, I think. I, yeah. yeah, because you're 12 hours. Pops out. Yeah, true, true, true. Because he is like focused for 12 hours and trying to get something and nothing happens. But then for like half an hour, something magical happens and he writes a whole song, for instance, yeah. But I believe it all ties together, yeah. Yes, in those 12 hours, you're connecting with yourself almost. Like the idea of doing nothing, right, right. when you guys are stimulated so often, mm -hmm. yeah. you, there's peace in nothing. Yes, yeah, like ideas like, you know, like there's uh, hanging around, like, so, like, and then it comes like, in a moment. I think yeah. that's what call, you know, people call inspiration and 
you know, when music pops out. What have you guys learned about yourself from making and releasing this album? So you know, Zach, there are like plenty of genres in our album, right? There could be hip hop, there could be R and B, there could be pop. You know, like sometimes mm -hmm. ballad, that's lots true, of that's pop. True. So he said that while you know, through like singing, through singing for this music, he learned quite a lot of um, like the cultures or the or the attitudes or the you know specific things for the very different genres. So yeah, that's what we find found out for this album. For me too. Can you define love in your that's life? True. How would you define love? Oh, that's hard. I believe like you can find love everywhere. But most important, as we learned uh, the last time that we're on the show, you have to love yourself first, and then you can love everything else around you in the in this world. I believe too. Love. Love. <laughs> Three microphones for J.O. Thank you. Uh, love? Love is hope. <laughs> love is hope. Yeah. yeah, love could be hope. Yeah. It really could be. Yeah. Well, I didn't know. For me, um, there is really interesting thing between Korean and English language. You know, love and live, right? It sounds really similar. similar. Yeah. For Korean, in Korean, we call love in 사랑. We call live, uh, we, call, we call people in 사랑. So it sounds really similar. So I mean, like, love, live, it's the same word, I think. Beautiful. Yes. I'm getting wrapped up. I could talk to you guys for so much longer. I'm very aware. You don't need to scream. Sorry, we don't um, got time. Damn. <laughs> They have to wrap up so quick. <laughs> I love you, Zach. Yeah, dude, I, you, I have so much love for you guys. Yeah, I know. Uh, can I ask one more about how's UNICEF yeah. going? UNICEF. It's UNICEF It's going really well and yeah, it's happening in oh, <laughs> and just shot the mic in your face. <laughs> Jin has no idea what to say. <laughs> it's going really well and uh, for this album I think we should do for uh, this campaign like one thing more and we're working for it. Beautiful. Yeah, please stay tuned for UNICEF too. So my one ask before you guys go is, uh, I got this shirt. It's ridiculous, but uh -huh. it, well, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's love. Well, wow. It's love. It's the, yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. Well, will you sign it? And I would like to auction it off and give all the proceeds to your UNICEF. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I would like to for give real? all the money to like, your organization. Could we? Would he sign it? Oh, it's cool that they <laughs> that they're doing that. That's so cool of Zach and also of the. Like, I don't know, the management of BTS allowing that. That's a cool thing. That's a really good thing, yeah. I really hope you enjoyed that conversation. If you did, did, please subscribe. And also check out our podcast. There's a link in the description. And also okay, guys, so leave a like to this video if you haven't already. Um... Damn, yeah, you, you can see that why, why I like Zach, Zach so much and I believe um, most of you are uh, enjoying the, his videos and his interviews too because he's like, he's, he's not like just someone who wants to have a big story or like wants to have beef or wants to have like, I don't know, he just wants to have facts and um, he really cares about like for instance now BTS and even the way that he auctioned his shirt off with the like autographs of BTS on them and um, is giving all the money from that to the UNICEF campaign of BTS is like it's it's such a cool thing he had not to do that and but he did so that shows a lot of his personality I believe okay guys that was it for this video we still have the 2019 interview left and I hope that in 2020 maybe they're visiting him to have like in half an hour interview at least that would be cool um because he and they deserve it because there is no interview better than zach in my opinion for now okay guys that was it for today hope you liked it if so leave a like subscribe comment something down below and we will see us the next time with the next zach saying interview for 2019 makes up for that guys see you soon and